Biz Social Boom presents Increase Local Traffic with Jen Foster for podcasts, social and video marketing, business owners and entrepreneurs. Learn social media, video, and mobile marketing with mobile phones. Get SEO strategies and simple marketing tools today at jenfosterseo.com. Hi, this is Jen Foster with Biz Social Boom. We're here today to talk about cold calling with Justine in Hawaii. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Justine. Uh, yes, my name is Justine Ronald, and I'm in uh, Hawaii, where it's nice and warm. And um, I own Manifest Ventures LLC, which is a marketing um, company, which integrates uh, instant customer. And uh, right now, I am implementing that in a Google AdWords with uh, landing pages and recapture for higher niche um, businesses. Awesome. Justine does similar work as I do with my company, and we do the internet marketing and help businesses with all of their marketing needs. And one of those would be cold calling. A lot of times you're getting your leads and you want to call them, or you're finding phone numbers and you want to call them, and Justine is great at cold calling. So tell us, Justine, how you use cold calling um, and what the tips are for, for using, you know, the best tips for cold calling. Well, um, I actually started cold calling uh, last summer when I decided to help uh, business owners at expos uh, so that they could um, simplify the, the when people come to their booths, collecting names, addresses, and emails instantly rather than having them, you know, do the um, entry blank or guest book. Um, mm -hmm. So in order to do that, of course, I went online to see uh, who were the past year's ex exhibitors, vendors. And from there, I just took, you know, all the information. I, I do a little bit of research before cold call people so that if there's something um, special that they do or offer, at least I have dialogue with them. Um, about how I, you know, the business so that they feel that I care and I'm not just trying to call them to, you know, have them use my services, but I try and do some type of um, rapport with them right off the bat. So I just honestly go down the line after I do my research, take a few notes. I just go down the line, start calling. And um, of course, uh, it's not for a lot of people, they're afraid to do it. And uh, justly so because it's uncomfortable but what I do is I just uh, plug their numbers in my phone number ahead of time and then I have it all set to go and um, I usually require myself to do at least 20 calls a day um, That's awesome. and, um, yeah a lot of them don't get I don't get to the decision maker um, I you know the thing that a lot of people have a hard time with is the gatekeeper and I'm um, starting to do cold calls again for the services I'm offering. And again, the, cold, the, the gatekeeper is, is of concern to most people. Mm -hmm. So how do you get that to the gatekeeper? Um, right now, I, you know, I try and create a rapport with them, um, friendly. Um, they, they're trying to protect their, their bosses and their company from all the other people that call them. So I try and you know, start a rapport and I try and listen to what kind of mood they may be in. And just, you know, what, when I'm going in, I just think about how I can serve these people and um, just treat them like a human being and not try and barge myself in there. Um, what I have done is sent an email ahead of time so that when I do call, I ask for uh, right now I'm, I'm targeting cosmetic dentists and plastic surgeons. So I send an email ahead of time just with a little bit of email, um, you know, information about what I offer. I haven't given too much with the video. And I said, you know, I'm calling Dr. So-and-so uh, regarding the email that I sent. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll say, okay, you know, let me get your name and number. And I ask them, you know, uh, does the doctor, you know, check his emails himself or does he filter it through the general manager, you know, office manager or whatever, so I can kind of know who's gauging all this information. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of times it's just leaving a message with um, the gatekeeper, hoping that the doctor does call me back. And 
Um, I've been very fortunate. I just started doing this and I've had like three doctors call me back and telling them that they just spent a whole lot of money on some other marketing or uh, mm -hmm. what. But I think the most important thing is um, if you can have a script, but as you go along, you tweak it as you go along. Nothing is like written in stone whenever you cold call, in my opinion. Uh, because I'm doing this myself, I kind of, you know, try to get to the to the best points, the benefits as fast as possible. And uh, in my case, uh, what I offer is, you know, getting uh, prospects and high quality leads to call their office. Once we implement this Google AdWords with the landing page, that mm -hmm. it's guaranteed that they'll get calls for their, or they don't pay any fees. Right. Awesome. So what have you found, um, what kind of retention rate or what kind of, um, you know, success are you having with doing 20 calls a day out of those? Um, are you you know that it all varies. There's so many variables. It, it depends on the gatekeeper. It depends um, if, you know, sometimes I imagine in this case, I'm getting the doctors where whenever I call, they're either in surgery or with a patient. So really, it's um, if, if the doctor has time. And a few have. I know it's a, a numbers game. It's mm -hmm. a little bit different from when I was contacting the vendors at the trade ship. Um, mm -hmm. They had more time you know, to, to for me to talk. So I'm honestly finding that this one is a little bit, uh, will take a little bit more effort on my part. Um, mm -hmm. At this point, I'm still tweaking because I've only been doing it for about a week. Awesome. But um, yeah. Well, to sum up what we've talked about, um, the first thing was to was to build a rapport with the gatekeeper, you know, the gatekeeper, and talking to them and trying to get to the person who you want to talk to. And the second thing was have a script, but still kind of um, tweak it in a way that is going to going to be beneficial to the person you're talking to, and find out what their needs are, and and, and come up with that through the conversation, right? Correct. Yes. Anything else you want to add about cold calling before we end our session here? Um, all I could say is, is it's a numbers game. And um, when I did it for the expo, I did an approximately 50 or so calls and was able to get five clients at that one trade show. So it's a lot of persistence and um, it takes a mindset to do cold calling. And right now I'm trying to find other ways to um, get, you know, the call to be, how can I say, more enticing that they want to call me, so I'm still tweaking my script, especially with the gatekeeper. And mm -hmm. um, so I'm finding other ways to contact them as well, aside from cold calling. So I think it's a, it's a multi prong type of approach that I'm taking. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Justine, for being on today live. And um, if anyone wants more information, you can contact Justine and at her company. Now. Manifest Ventures Marketing, or you can contact me, Jen Foster, with Fit Social Boom. And we'll talk to you guys soon. All yeah. right. Thank you, Jen. Bye. Bye.